Hi there, this is Claire Tannhauser, a GIA gemologist and jewelry designer from the Moon Tree Boutique. Today, we are going to be doing a very quick little tutorial about how I make my own clasps and how you can too. Um, and I also just filmed a tutorial, ball, a tutorial about how I make all of my own chains, particularly a paperclip chain. Um, so this is a chain that I made and a finished version of the type of clasp we're about to learn how to make today. It is not difficult, it's just some wire work and when someone explains it to you, you'll find it to be really easy. And then you can make your own and it um, saves a lot of money and they're really nice to use. They're very smooth, they're easy to take on and off yourself. There's no like tiny little levers and annoying things. Um, so let's get into it. What are you going to need? Um, you are going to need, number one, some wire. Um, this is a nice, thick, like 16 gauge wire. I think, yeah, maybe 18 gauge, probably 16 gauge. Um, this is sterling silver, but you can also use silver plated copper or any thick, reasonably thick wire. Um, you can't use thin wire because it's too soft and the uh, if you pull on the necklace, it'll just bend the clasp open and it won't stay. So what else are we gonna need besides wire? We are going to need needle nose pliers, which are the round shaped pliers with the tapering tip. And we are going to also need some flat pliers with a tapering tip that have a nice sort of gripping plier. And we are also going to need some kind of a round template. I use the back end of my um, X-Acto knife, very <laughs> dangerous but um, a Sharpie works beautifully and that's what I would recommend because you can't accidentally stab yourself with it. So very easy, here's what we do. We start with our nice thick wire and our pliers. First thing we're gonna do is we are going to make a small loop on the end about the size of like halfway down your needle nose pliers. So here we have it, it's a wire with a loop on the end of it. Second step, um, we take our round template, our Sharpie or whatever dowel, whatever you have, and we're gonna go about three quarters of an inch um, from the loop on the stem of the wire and we're just gonna bend around. So we have a nice elegant sort of shepherd crook shape there. The next step that we are going to do is we are going to snip this off the wire and you need to leave yourself a tail of maybe three quarters of an inch or half an inch, something like that. Boom, so now I'm just gonna finesse the shape a tiny bit. And with some flat pliers, I'm just gonna create a little bit of a bend in the wire. And, um, you know, I think I left a little bit too much of a tail. I'm gonna trim three millimeters off or something like that much. Then you take your grippy flat nose pliers and you just take the very, very tip and you bend it around up on itself, which is to say you bend it the direction away from the loop. And um, we are going to solder this join closed and we are going to cover this whole place where it folds upon itself in solder. Um, and then it will look more or less like uh, my finished example, which I just had somewhere on this messy desk. Here we go. As you can see, um, I have closed the link right here. There's a bit of solder on this join and then the end is also covered in solder. So it's nice and smooth on your neck. Um, you want everywhere on the chain to be smooth and everywhere on the clasp to be really smooth so that it's comfortable to wear because it doesn't matter how beautiful a piece of jewelry is if it hurts to wear. Um, yeah, so if you're interested also in how I make my chains, please watch that video. If I can figure out how to link it at the end, I will. Um, if not, just go back to my playlist of tutorial videos and it'll be there. All right, let's jump to the soldering studio and I will show you how to close the um, links. Hey folks, sorry about the noise. That's the ventilation fan um, for my soldering setup. We are just going to quickly do a little two 
dabs of solder on our handmade clasp in order to finish it and make sure it's nice and durable and lasts a long time. Um, I apologize for the loudness of the fan and I'm doing this myself so it's going to be a little fumbly transition there. Okay, hopefully, hopefully that is there. So here we have our clasp, our unfinished clasp. Um, it's not closed, it's just the raw wire. So basically what we do, I like to use these big metal paper clip things. So we have it like this. Oh, let me put on my PPE. It's very important that we wear our gloves. So I have this here. I'm gonna take a tiny little dab of my flux. I use Ruby Flux. Um, it's in some of my other videos where I talk about my supplies if you're interested. So I'm dabbing the flux on the two joins where we um, are going to close the metal. And then I just take a little tiny dab of my solder and I apply it where I uh, put the flux and the solder will run and basically close that joint. So the metal is now fused and cannot come open. It's also nice and smooth, um, which is a nice benefit. And obviously I clean and polish these things, but there we have it, the finished clasp. Um, it's it's really got a nice look. And here you can take a couple um, inches of wire and turn it into something immensely useful and much more affordable than buying your own clasps. So again, this is the other end of the clasp. Uh, we have the hook and then this is the eye. And again, we just take a tiny little bit of our flux. We apply it to the join. We take a tiny bit of our solder and we're just gonna basically close uh, the places where the wire is touching but not connected and we're gonna connect it. So now we have one half and the other half. Ta-da! It's a handmade class. Um, thank you so much for watching and if you're interested in uh, jewelry making tutorials there's a lot of other ones on my page as well as a series I do called Ask a Gemologist where I talk about the history and folklore and science of natural gemstones. So please like, comment, share, subscribe, do any of those things that will enable me to continue to get my tutorials out to people in the world. And if you're interested in shopping the jewelry, my business is called Moon Tree Boutique and I sell um, on Etsy and the link is in the description. Thanks so much.